Adios. Welcome back. Today we have another 500 rounds on the table here and we're going to be putting it through the brand new Alpha Foxtrot Romulus. Man, that thing looks sweet. So the Alpha Foxtrot Romulus is a 2011 or 1911 double stack handgun. So kind of like a Staccato or Springfield Prodigy. And as you can see, it definitely has that look of it too. This version is the five inch barrel version. Out of the box, it does come with an optic ready slide and be safety. So we can see on this side and this does favor a right hand shooter where it's a bigger ledge here versus on this side. For my left-handed people, you still can use it, but it's just a smaller ledge for you to hit. We have a larger magwell here, which should make reloads easier for the gun. A super slick flat face trigger that looks and feels awesome. I tested the trigger at home. This is about a five and a half to six pound trigger pull. So kind of like a duty grade trigger. And then above all, my favorite thing here is the slide release. The biggest complaint with 1911s and 2011s is normally the slide release stops right here. And when you have a slide lock reload here, rather than being able to hit this with your right thumb, you'll have to use your support hand and hit it right here. However, Alpha Foxtrot on their Romulus solved this issue and gave you this extended slide release. So that way for my right-handed shooters like myself here, rather than having to use your support hand, you can insert the mag and super easy to hit that right there to actuate the slide. Love, love, love that. As you can see here, this also has a DLC coating, which makes it look super clean. And we do have a pick rail on the front here to mount a flashlight or whatever we want, which we're actually gonna do that. We're gonna be putting a Surefire X300 on this, so that way we can run it in some holsters and do some drills. It does come with one mag here, and we can see this is a MBX mag. Honestly, I've never heard of them before, but it's a steel mag, seems pretty solid, so we'll see how that runs. But we only get one mag, so I do have some Staccato mags and Prodigy mags, so we're gonna be using those to help get through the rounds today. Lastly, ammo we're gonna be using today is PMC Bronze 124 grain. I found that most 2011s, 1911 nine millimeters love the 124 grain. So we wanna make sure and use the right ammo with this. That being said, let's get some mags loaded up and start the test. Ooh. Ooh. Perfection. And now it's ready. We got our target set up here now, but let's get the first mag through, see how it shoots and see what the grouping looks like. Romulus. Oh, so smooth. Grouping, first 20 rounds here, psh, pretty solid. You can see all here. I was aiming for this A here in the center, so we're a little left here, but not too bad, especially for the first mag, because that could easily be user error. Yeah, Brian, you suck at shooting. So that first mag was the MBX mag that came with it, so that ran well. But now let's try a staccato mag and see if that works. I mean, it should. So the two staccato mags worked flawless there. The only thing is, is the slide did not lock back for both of them on the factory mag, the MBX one, it did. So we'll continue to run these staccato mags, see if that's a common issue or not. Next up, let's try some Prodigy mags and see how those run. Prodigy mags. All right, so no issue with the Prodigy mag, but good news, Staccato, Prodigy, or these MBX mags, they all go in the Romulus. So we just got some more mags loaded up, but we we're actually through the first 100 rounds already. And one thing I wanna do is add a flashlight to the end of this. We're gonna add a Surefire X300. So let's do that. We actually have a Staccato here, as well as a Springfield Prodigy. So let's go ahead and take it off of the Prodigy here and add it to the Romulus. Sorry, Prodigy. 
All right, looks good. And as we can see here, uh, this is a Staccato P, and this is the Romulus here. Side by side look very similar, but then the Springfield Prodigy I have is the four and a quarter inch, so you can see this one is shorter. So later in the video, we'll shoot these side by side and see what we think. Another thing and helpful tip I wanted to point out here is why we're putting this flashlight on, and that goes to our gear. So gear that I'm using here, this is a Core Essentials Battle Belt here, and then this is all of the Blade Tech magazines and holster attachments. These Blade Tech ones are super cool because if you want, you can just take the whole holster off with these discs, easily insert it back on. You can adjust the cant of it however you want. And then there's also a locking mechanism too, so that way it won't go anywhere. As far as the holster we have, this is the MSP holster from tier one, and it goes off of the retention of our X300. Absolutely love this holster, definitely recommend. And then again, with the blade tech, makes it super easy. All right, with that, let's get back to shooting. Actually, after the first hundred rounds, let's see if we can actually air rack this. Yeah, all day, all day. We have 200 rounds down now, but one thing I noticed here as I came to reload is this plate here. It's the optic cover plate. Did come loose here, so just note from the factory, you might want to take these out, put some Loctite on them, or maybe this is a sign that you should just add a red dot to this gun. So just a heads up, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten these back down and continue to run the iron sights here. All right, we got 300 rounds down now, 200 more to go, and I did have to put gloves on, at least on this hand, for two reasons. One, it's hot. The gun gets hot from running a bunch of rounds through it so quick here, and it's 100 degrees here in Texas, so not a lot of fun to touch a super hot gun. Reason number two is the safety on the back, cutting into my hand. So to show you exactly what I'm talking about here, the spot is right here on the safety. You can see it's got a little sharp ledge there, and this is the same exact thing that happened on the S15. And right here, you can see it's starting to get red. I can feel it. And if I keep shooting, it's just gonna cut it. The way I grip it, it goes in right here. And then normally I like to grip it right on top like this. And that is right where that little sharp piece is. So that's why we're just gonna add the gloves so that way we don't have that issue. All right, we are on our last 100 rounds here. But that being said, one thing we always need to do when we have a 2011 is the Sicario test. If you've seen my other 500 round reviews, you know what's about to happen. But if you haven't, well, you're in for a surprise. Oh, Dios. One thing before we close things out here, as I mentioned, we do have a Staccato P, a Prodigy four and a quarter inch, and the Alpha Foxtrot Romulus is just kind of do a comparison, a couple rounds through each of these back to back to back, and just kind of see what our thoughts are. By no means is this a scientific full comparison, but a just quick look at and what my thoughts are shooting these all back to back. First up, the Staccato P. Next up, the Prodigy four and a quarter inch. And then last up, the Romulus. Guys, shooting those back to back to back, they are all very similar guns and awesome to shoot. I think we might have to do a full video later comparing these three, but it's tough to pick a favorite right there with those three. So the Romulus is a full-size gun, so it's too big to conceal. 
No, I'm just kidding. You can conceal carry anything. So this is the Romulus. We have it in a tier one holster here. It's a heavier gun, just like a Staccato or Prodigy, but totally you can conceal carry it. All right, that does it for this video here today, going over the Alpha Foxtrot Romulus five inch model. Of the 500 rounds, how many malfunctions did we have? Zero, none. The gun did run flawless from a reliability standpoint. That being said, we did have the issue of uh, the slide not locking back on some of the mags. It was pretty good with this MBX mag that came with the gun here, but for these staccato mags as well as the prodigy mags we were using a lot of times the gun would not lock back but either way just a heads up there other things to highlight here shootability freaking awesome we shot these side by side and like i said it's tough to pick a favorite just doing one mag through each so i think we might have to do a video comparing all three of these the staccato p the prodigy and the romulus but overall shooting these real quick dude this is right there with them big things to note that i do like about this over the other two though is number one the slide release this is a game changer for a 2011 for the staccato p or the springfield prodigy to hit the slide release you legit can't unless you have like octopus fingers and they're really long so what you have to do is use your support hand to hit the slide release but with the alpha foxtrot romulus they have the extended one here so you can easily hit that like all day so easy to do and you don't need to move your grip at all love that other thing i love is the trigger this flat face trigger is super nice and as seen today we could run this super fast and then also the magwell was nice we didn't have any issues with reloads now downsides here that i found one is we did have the issue and right now this is actually loose again the optic plate cover just kept coming loose not a big deal though we just got to get some loctite on this to secure this back down another thing that i didn't like and this is the same from the alpha foxtrot s15 we did a video on before the way at least i grip this this safety does cut into your webbing here on your hand i pointed that out earlier in the video and i had to throw some gloves on otherwise we would just have another cut there and i know what you're all gonna say brian just readjust your grip you're being an idiot do something like this which maybe i should just do that so very minor thing but just something i wanted to know from a feature standpoint you do get a lot of goodies out of the box with this the magwell the extended slide release this nice dlc coating finish which i think looks awesome one last downside i wanted to point out though is with the extended slide release here it is a little bit tricky to get on on and off the gun when disassembly or reassembling it. I'll probably come out with another video explaining this, but just a heads up, it's kind of like the trade-off. You get an extended slide release, but it's a little bit tricky to put in and out. Not a deal breaker though. So this thing is awesome. And I think it's awesome to see more and more of these double stack 1911 or 2011 platforms because before all you had was the staccato at a very high price point. And don't get me wrong, this is a super high value gun, but it's cool to see some lower price point, super reliable guns come to market that people who don't have that two to $3,000 budget can pick up and still have a super reliable gun. Ammo isn't cheap, so like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.